this is my level one data flow diagram for Chelly's restaurant website. So as mentioned, we have admin, external entity, and we have blogger. So um, in our context diagram, we only have one process. But in level one diagram, we are going to break down the one process into different processes. Okay, so level one is the breaking down of context diagram. So we have at least here, um, we have process number one, we have login. Process num number two, we have manage users. Process number two, we have number three, we have manage posts. Okay, so in um, level two or in the child diagram, we are going to break down level, um, we are going to break down the process 1.0. We are also going to break down the process 2.0 and we are going to break down the process 3.0 later in our child diagram. Okay, so for admin, what info is he going to input in the system or what data goes in the system coming from the admin? It's the user info. It's the admin user info. So the process is login and then the log user or the login user, which is the admin, or it could be the login user, which is the blogger. The it depends on the on which user is currently logged in and then um for admin he can be able to um, manage users however blogger could not be able to manage users he is just going to manage post but the admin can do both all right so we have manage users and then we the data that goes to the table users is the added edited or archive users and then for a managed post the data that goes to the tbl post is the added edited or archive post this is post okay so this is just the the simple level one data flow diagram of chelis restaurant website you can still add there's more process to do in this level one okay so um this is an example of level two data flow diagram or child diagram so let us base you're going to base it in your level one data flow diagram so our first process here is login so we are going to break down the login process in our child diagram so we have 1.1 the admin should be should fill out the login form so he should be able to give his user details and then the system would then verify the user or we have user authentication and the user details will be passed on to tbl users and then what's go goes back to the system is the check user details and then the granted access user he will then be shown on his dashboard so after this you can then continue with the second breakdown of the second process and then the breakdown of the third process so expect that the child diagram is uh, the most tedious one in all the levels in data flow diagram so that's it. Thank you very much.